Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David West Channel. Well today I think that I have finally found, after all these years, some tulip poplar bark that appears to be strong enough that it'll fire roll. Now Tim over Boggy Creek Beast has proven a long time ago that tulip poplar bark fibers will work, but I've never been able to make it work. I knew that I'd have to wait until I found some unusually strong tulip poplar bark, and I think today is the day. So let me set the camera up and give you a little closer view of what I'm working on and see if I can finally accomplish that. Here's the piece of bark that I stripped the outer bark off of. And this this is this feels like it's the strongest fiber I've had to work with yet. So I want to peel a few more off. And the way I do it, there's only a couple pieces that came off of this branch that I think is the same type fiber on it as that. And these couple pieces here, I just take and uh, I just take that outer bark off. Peel it off one way, peel it off another way, and then when I get all of that off, I'll, I'll rough up that inner fiber. This first. You've seen me process tulip poplar bark many times before. So. We got this. Let me process this some more. And I'll get the fibers out of this and then I'll turn you back on. I think I'm going to have an inner and an outer, outer layer of fibers to try to help build up enough heat before the roll actually disintegrates. So let me leave, leave these good strong fibers for the outside. And Let's see, I think I'll do it this way. And we'll put these for the inside fibers. And then roll it up just as tight as I can get it. You can tell those are pine needle ashes. <laughs> Look at Looks like a mess, doesn't it? You know what? It's not going to work, but you know this is a good opportunity to show you that, uh, when something is impregnated with ashes like that, that it only takes a, the tiniest of sparks to get that started and it'll grow into a big ember. Let me go ahead and get the uh, smart water bottle and show you. Alright, let me show you what I'm talking about now with ashes impregnated tinder of any kind. You just need to get a little just a little spark started and the ashes will make this grow into a big ember. Let me put a little bit of more ashes on it so we make sure when we get our little spark that it'll stay ignited. Let's try that.
you couldn't do that if it, there wasn't ashes in there. All right, y'all. We turned a fail into an, a, a success. I still don't think I've gotten my point across how important this discovery is that ash tender is is uh, makes a great coal extender, ember intensifier. You could take any tender. You can take cotton fabric which I've shown, I have videos showing where you can take cotton fabric, put ash in it, and get the least little spark. And actually four minutes later, after waving and blowing on it, you can get the fabric to, to go to flames. All right, y'all. I appreciate you joining me on this one. We'll catch you on the next one.